Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Goli here. Welcome back to another epic Polytopia video. So whenever the Diplomacy update came out, I got a request to redo a video I did a while back, which was Polytopia, but I skipped the first 20 turns. We're going to try it now that the AI can do funny cloak stuff. So how this works is I get one crazy bot on a massive drylands map. We start the game and, you know, we pop in here. I chose barter because, of course, you know, skipping 20 turns, that's not good for anyone. And now we just kind of like hit the end turn button a bunch of times until the top says turn 20. And of course, while we're just sitting here, our AI friend is going to be expanding rapidly. We see he already has three cities. Now, each time I hit the end turn button, it's taking longer and longer for the turn to actually start, which means that the AI is getting stronger because, you know, it's coming up with more actions to make and having to dictate which path is the best. What I'm getting at is this is not going to be great for us. You see, the AI has 23 cities, and it is, in fact, a turn 20, which means we can start playing. So how is this going to differ from the last time we played? Well, of course, now the Diplomacy update is out, which means the AI is going to be doing a lot of funny cloak action, I think. I'm actually not real sure. We're just going to have to kind of see what happens. Of course, after skipping the first 20 turns, my first priority is expanding as quickly as possible to try and get some of the map under our control because time is not on our side right now nor are the laws of exponential growth ai is at 25 cities on turn 21 again that's a little concerning but hopefully it'll be okay i think the ai has also improved since the last time i made this video so maybe it will make for a more interesting game who knows okay i'm gonna go ahead and just scoop up mathematics and organization. We're going to be getting both later. I'm just going to grab them now before I capture both of these. That might not have been the most efficient way to do it, but I'm not too concerned about it. We just need to keep uh, leveling cities, you know, doing all that fun stuff. I'm getting explorers just so I can reveal more of the map. That way I can move my riders a lot faster and not have to deal with the fog. Hopefully that ends up paying off. I guess we'll wait and see. Of course, it means our economy is going to suffer a little bit, but once we start getting a whole bunch of cities, that shouldn't really matter too much. Okay, there's our opponent. It's Imo, and as you can see, they already have a cloak. Okay, well, we meet them and get 12 stars. I can't do anything about that cloak. That's really annoying. Best thing I can really do is try and beat them to these villages over here. So we can go ahead and scoot onto that one. I did not build those roads efficiently at all, but that's okay. And then we're going to road onto this one over here. And now I just want to kind of level cities for resources, get our economy going a little bit. We'll get resources there and we'll level up this city. I'm going to harvest fruit just because I always want to have the forest to chop in case we need to. And then we'll get a rider here, and I'm going to road this warrior towards this village. Yeah, that's fine. We'll end our turn. Okay, the AI has... Oh, oh no. Uh, okay, everything about that was awful. So the AI has a ton of cloaks. It just hit this city with a cloak, and they have a veteran swordsman that they got from a ruin. That just one-shot my rider. I mean, we can technically siege this city, but these daggers are going to be a problem and they also have a city right here maybe they captured it with a cloak i mean they are spamming cloaks let's do some investigatory work okay there we go look at our noggin working there i guess we can just kind of like capture these cities and we'll take population growth and then get a sawmill in this city that'll get us a giant for what that's worth i'm not real sure what to do here these daggers are kind of a problem we'll just train a warrior I'm going to chop twice and train a warrior here as well, and then we'll end our turn. Okay, they did break our siege down there. Uh, okay, Mr. Veteran Swordsman's a problem. They've already expanded over here. Oh, man, this is not great, honestly. <laughs> well, I mean, we're going to get these daggers off our backs, I guess. Although I'm sure more will be coming shortly. We can siege this city down here. I'm not really sure if that's doing a whole lot for us, but there it is. Okay, let's work on getting a giant in this city. That's probably going to be pretty handy. I'll just put a sawmill down and we'll take border growth. Next turn, giant there. And we got that city and end our turn. Okay, they broke the siege, obviously. There's a cloak and there's another cloak. Okay, the daggers spawned on the force. Okay, and there's another cloak. Okay, all right, come on, Imo. Let's just chill out a little bit. So, couple problems. The cloaks spawned on the forest because they prioritize defense bonuses, which means we can... I mean, we can still get a giant here. It's just a little more annoying. We have to use our monument. But I 
guess it'll be worth it. There we go, we got a giant. I'm starting to think mathematics might not have been a great idea. It might have been better just to like chop down all our force, because daggers with defense bonuses are big stinky. The AI's literally just spamming cloaks. Okay, let's try maybe leveling up cities. Because, I mean, the cloaks are going to cut our economy pretty hard. Because whenever a cloak hits your city, that city doesn't produce any stars. So, that's a problem. It means we kind of need to diversify our star production in each city. I don't want one city that's very high leveled. I want a, a lot of cities that are, you know, somewhat high leveled. And I think I'm going to use Lumber Hut sparingly. We might actually end up chopping a lot of the forest so the daggers don't get any, any defense bonuses. In fact, I might have to reroute this giant over here because I think they're going to take this city and we won't be able to do a whole lot about it. We can siege the city because the AI trained a cloak there for some reason. I'm not complaining. Uh, this city is probably lost, unfortunately. All right, we'll end our turn. Okay, the daggers are moving in. They're smacking our giant. I don't like that. I don't want them getting free value. There's a cloak. There's another one. This is brutal. Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to win this. <laughs> I don't know if this is possible, actually. Um, okay. What do I do? Hmm, we might restart. I have a better idea. Obviously, knights are the answer. But if all the daggers have a defense bonus, they kind of become rather useless. We can't really afford knights at the moment just because we're not making any income, really. Best thing I can do right now is to just kind of spam warriors, I think. Okay, we're going to run it back. I have a new strategy this time. We're going to take Omaji. Okay, so hear me out. Omaji doesn't have a whole lot of force to begin with. Secondly, Omaji starts with riding, which is one step closer to knights. So maybe that will allow us to take care of some of those cloaks. Only issue is going to be the mountains. We can't really do anything about that. I did not think the AI was just going to spam cloaks. I figured it would have gotten some. So I'm glad that they're making it so cloaks can only hit the same city once per turn. If you haven't seen my video where I talk about the new beta update that's coming out, definitely go check that out after this one. Turn 20. AI has 14 cities. Okay, that's actually... I think that's less than last time. Maybe this is our chance. We're going to grab organization, level up the old capital. I'm going to grab an explorer. Oh, Polaris. Okay, we might actually have a shot at this. Polaris on dry lands, not very good. Let's go ahead and snag roads. And I'm going to road onto this village that's all the way over here for some reason. 36 stars, screw it. Free spirit, chivalry. Done deal, baby. Train a knight. If the AI even thinks about spamming cloaks, we should be okay. I kind of want farming so I can level up this city and get an explorer. Let's do it. So we pretty much just blew all the stars that we got. <laughs> We're making four stars per turn. And our main army is going to consist of knights. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to get another explorer here. So the AI is already very close to our uh, borders here, I guess. Which is not great. They haven't trained any cloaks yet, which is strange. We have good vision here. If they train any cloaks in any of these cities, we can, you know, zoom on in. But they didn't. Hmm. I mean, I guess we can go for a siege. We can only siege one of them. I'll go for this one just because I think it has better resources for us. And I'm just going to put this rider here. We'll train another one and move this one over. End our turn. We're bringing the fight straight to them. Oh, there's the cloaks. Okay. Now the game begins. Well, we can capture this city. And I think we might be able to get a giant there next turn. You know, if they siege. We are now big chilling in that city. And I kind of want to try and explore up here. There's a village and a ruin. Let's get this rider over here so it can help break a siege and train another rider here. And that'll be our turn. Oh, Ice Archer, you little goober. And how did you get a veteran swordsman too? What is it with the AI and veteran swordsmen? Oh, man. Okay, we can slap a road here and break this siege. There we go. Let's try and get... To okay, hi, Gami. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's get some vision. I don't know if this is possible. I'm just going to come out and say it. It doesn't help that it's also like 10 o'clock and I'm very tired from college stuff. So I'm probably not playing the best, but it's fine. Okay, there's a cloak. Okay, they must have really improved the AI. Or maybe I just got markedly worse. Uh, either one are possibilities. I can't even train a knight here. City's full in population. Although we can capture this city and then, yeah, we can get one here now. Okay, we have a knight. I don't 
know if it matters all that much. I mean, we can take out that Mooney. If I get a giant, it's just gonna get frozen. We can siege this city. I guess we'll go for it. I don't even think I bother getting a giant here, do I? Let's just train a warrior. Can we expand down here? Are there villages? Yeah, sorta. I'll get a warrior here to check this corner, I guess. <laughs> Gosh dang it. No. Please. Stop. <laughs> oh no, the night's frozen. So, we lost that city, but we gained this one. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll promote the night. <laughs> sure. We can technically siege this city. It doesn't it doesn't matter though. We don't even bother. That being said, I'm gonna bother. I can train a knight here, and we can probably road it to take care of the daggers. That's gonna be my hope. End our turn. Daggers are moving forward, and we got four gommies on the screen, and there's a cloak, okay. Well, I mean, this is probably our best option. We just kinda like, you know, go up this way, snake on through here, and, you know, come around here, and I guess, we kill the ice archer there's no point in the sieging really the knight will just get frozen that was a nice little knight chain that was pretty cool i don't know if it matters surely there's a way to win this surely there's got to be a way there has to be a way do i get defenders i don't think defenders are going to be all that lucrative all right watch this this city right here gonna have a cloak in it we're gonna siege it not quite a cloak <laughs> in fact that's about the furthest thing you could get from a cloak okay we'll just get warriors I guess. Okay, so we don't have a knight trained this turn, but next turn, oh boy. Okay, so they're gonna siege that city. Now the AI did leave this city open. Well, I mean, there's a cloak in it, but you know what I mean. Practically open. Hmm. Is it bait? I guess we take the bait. Let's try and get that ruin. I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. Oh, this is a mess. Okay, I guess we giant push. Pop growth. And I have to farm because I, I wasted stars by harvesting the fruit, but it's fine. And then I'm just going to get a giant here as well because they're kind of threatening that city quite a bit. We did not train a knight this turn. I really need to train more knights. I've said it ten times. This is brutal. <laughs> Do I go for this ruin? Ah, uh, I don't see why not. Uh, they're just going to tick my giant down. What? The okay, there was a cloak on the village. And there's another cloak hitting that city. Our knight's getting smacked around. There's another cloak. Okay, all right. Let's 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 all calm down a little bit, all right? We have gained another city, so that's cool. What, what do we do about this? This is a problem. That's fine. We didn't need that city anyway, right? What to do, what to do. We can kill a dagger. Sure. And I guess we can hit the Mooney. Smack a dagger? <laughs> I don't know, man. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for this city. Ah, border growth. Should have noticed that. I'm an idiot. But we can siege this one. So that's cool. I might get Explorer here. Or maybe I train another Knight. That might not be a bad idea, actually. We can train it in our capital. Get it moved up next turn. It'll be great. Okay, Giant's dead. And they broke that siege. Um, Mindbenders. Gosh, now you're just insulting me. Well, we can break this siege, I guess. And we can also break this one over here. So I guess training that other knight was a good call. Gami's at 1 HP. Are you for real right now, game? That is not a very epic gamer moment. I'm just gonna road this giant up here. <laughs> no! Are you for real? Oh my gosh, guys. I just got my giant mind bended. Okay, we're gonna run it back. We're gonna run it back. I think my initial idea with barter was the correct decision. We had the military that game, but we didn't have the economy to back it up. So I think we do have to go barter. In our rear cities, we are free to use, you know, forestry, mathematics, all that. But in our front border cities, we need to keep those forest free. That way the cloaks don't get defense bonuses and we can actually one shot them with our knights. Well, the daggers, I mean. I think that it, it, we got to balance the economy with the military. And that should lead to our success. I should have never doubted barter. AI only has nine cities. Okay, this might be doable. We have to go fast right now. I'm actually gonna take a workshop. 
just because I think the extra star per turn is going to be handy. We're going to grab riding and roads, and then we're going to road this warrior uh, right here. There's probably a village. Gosh dang it. Okay, cool. We'll grab forestry and organization, level up the capital, and we'll grab resources and then train a rider. Now, do we go for the mountain ruin? I don't think so. I think we just go for villages. So I bet if we move here, we'll reveal a village. Yes, and then we can road onto that one. There we go. AI is at 11 cities. Okay, they're expanding. We just need to expand faster, which is going to be impossible because they've had 20 extra turns. What is this village density game? Mm, unhappy. I should have just gotten an explorer here and then, you know, moved on to the village that it revealed. So many forests too. We're gonna have to put roads down so our riders can move through them. Whatever, it's fine. I'm just gonna need a little road here and here, and then we can go onto that one. And then we need a little road here and here, and we can go onto that one. And we're just gonna keep spamming riders. AI is at 14 cities. Okay, they're actually they're actually going. This is not good. I mean, this is probably the best chance we're gonna have, but uh, still not good. Okay, AI is Zabasi. Interesting. Let's capture both of these. I'm gonna risk workshops in these cities because I think we need the economy. Now, of course, you know, without the explorers, we're not gonna be able to move as fast with our riders, but I'm hoping that, you know, being able to train extra units, that'll just kind of balance out. In fact, I might actually do some chopping right now. Just do a lot of chopping. Let's just clear all the forests here and also all the forests here. And then I'm gonna level up the city and take resources. And then we'll go over here and sort of do the same thing. Just because these cities are in the front, they're probably going to get hit with cloaks. So I don't want the forest there to begin with. Yeah, just get rid of them. And we will go for this village here. And I'm just going to bank the stars. Yeah, that's probably fine. How's the AI looking? AI has 17 cities. We have four. Those are not great odds, but we've done some miracles on this channel before. They're right here. Well, that means we need to start working towards chivalry because those cloaks are going to be coming real fast. I'm going to grab free spirit and I guess we'll capture the city. We'll take border growth in our capital. I will hunt here, take workshop and then chop. And I'm going to do a bit of chopping in our capital as well. I think that's fine. And then we will level up the city and take resources. And then I'm going to chop the forest there. Okay. I'm just going to train a warrior here and we'll end our turn. We're probably not going to keep this village. We kept the village. Okay, very cool. I'm gonna grab chivalry, pre-capture, and now we're free to capture these cities. We'll get our network monument. I might just put that in here and take the metropolis monument straight away. Yeah, let's do it. And then we will hunt, grab giant, we'll get our metropolis monument, and then I'm gonna chop this forest. So, Zabasi got border growth in this city. So they have a city right here. A little concerning. In fact, let's level up this city and take an explorer. Maybe we'll get a better idea of what's going on. Ah, perfect. There they are. City is empty. That's what I like to see. I don't like to see that as much, but if the AI is just trying to mind benders over there, you know what? Honestly, fine by me. I won't be stupid this time and have my giant get mind bended. I'm going to level up this city and we're going to take an explorer here as well. Should go this way. We'll get some nice information here. Okay. So they haven't gotten to these cities yet. They've gotten to that one, but that's good. That means we have time. This might be the one guys. I think if any of these games we're going to win by skipping the first 20 turns, this has got to be the one. And if this doesn't work, we might just have to revisit it some other day. Maybe after the cloak adjustments happen. Okay, we have 12 stars. I'm going to train a knight in this city. Actually, no, this city. And a warrior here. We'll end our turn. Okay, still no cloaks. That's great. I love to see it. Let's take this city up here. I'm going to level it up and grab an explorer. Okay, they still have not gotten to the north corner. We can beat them to the north corner. Just get this rider roaded straight away. And I'm going to level up this city, which is kind of risky because we're leaving forest there on huts. Grab resources and chop. If I move the warrior in, they might start training a bunch of offensive units. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. Let's get this knight moved forward, eh? Yeah. Train another warrior. I might grab climbing, honestly. We get some of these mountain ruins. Yeah, let's do it. We'll put a road here and road onto that mountain ruin. And then I'll train a warrior here to go for that one. Let's grab this city. And grab this one down here. How are we looking? 10 to 20 cities. Okay, that's a better ratio than last time we checked. All right, let's end our turn. There is the first cloak of the game that we know of. For all we know, our cities could be surrounded. In any case, we're going to road up here and get onto that village. 
and then we'll road onto this village up here. And we also know that there's a village right here because of this road connection. There's a little fun fact for you. There you go. We'll go into that mountain ruin. What's this one give us? Mathematics. Okay. Again, not very useful because we're chopping all of our forests. Maybe we'll find an opportunity for it. I don't know. Looks like they got border growth in this city. Let's just go for a siege, honestly. I think we're ready. Just send the knight in. They might giant push. It doesn't look like they have forestry yet. We'll go ahead and take this city. I'm just going to level it up, grab an explorer, and then chop all the forests. And I'll probably do the same thing in this city as well. Okay, so there's a rider on that village. I can hit it. And then I think we can safely road onto this village over here. There we go. And I'll level up this city and grab an explorer. Okay, this is all good information. So they haven't gotten to this section down here yet. Very handy. Hmm, now do we go for resources or do we chop? I think we just chop, honestly. I mean, I know there aren't really any cloaks in the area that we know of, but just having the force out of the way and, you know, getting the extra stars this turn is a little handy. Let's train two knights back there, and then I'm going to get a warrior up here, and let's go ahead and road this rider onto that village there. We'll end our turn. Okay, cloak went invisible. They giant pushed. Sort of expected that. Can we get a knight to these mindbenders? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of some of those. Just requires two more roads. And you're going to get zoom in, my friend. Can't siege the city, but at least three mindbenders are gone, I guess. No need to promote the knight right now. It's not being threatened. Let's go ahead and kill that knight. Move on to that village. We'll take this one. I'm going to grab an explorer just so we get a better idea of what we're up against. Okay, it looks like they haven't gotten to the south corner yet either. Okay, well, you know the drill by now. We got to get rid of these forests. I'm going to train a knight here to deal with these mindbenders. Uh, what do we do about the giant? Honestly, we could probably train a couple catapults. I mean, they don't really seem to have any agile units as of now. We'll buffer with the warrior there and train a catapult here. What's the ruin give us? Veteran swordsman. Level up the capital, sure. Another giant. We'll take these two villages up here. I guess we'll just end our turn. Well, let's go ahead and chop once. And then I'll train a rider right here. Might come in handy, who knows. End our turn. All right, this is looking okay, sort of. We can take out these mindbenders here, and then we can also siege this city. We'll hit this mindbender, move back onto the village, and then you can kill it, and we'll bounce on in. I guess we're not sieging that city because they had two mindbenders on standby in case we tried anything. Probably should have expected that. It's okay, though, honestly. I mean, we'll just get a knight to deal with them. Okay, so the AI moved their giant. We can hit it with a catapult, and then, I mean, honestly, let's move this catapult back, take out that mindbender, and siege with warriors, and I'm just gonna hit the giant with our knight. It's probably fine. This knight is ready to do some more work. I'm gonna bank on there being more mindbenders here, so I'm gonna start with the mindbender on the city and then hit this guy. Okay, there's a cloak, but unfortunately giant is here so let's smack this mindbender and go here and we're gonna train more knights should i go for this village that seems kind of risky let's do it we'll see what happens there warriors are just gonna keep waltzing around i guess giant we need him to get moving i have two monuments not too sure what to do with them we might just save them in case you know we need to giant push somewhere or something why is this city not leveled yet we need to do that let's get a road here and i'm gonna get a lumber hut I'm going to grab an explorer and just kind of hope that it goes east. Look at that. All you got to do is hope and the explorer will do what you want it to. There's their capital. Okay, that's interesting. Unfortunately, this isn't an online game, so we don't just win by taking the capital. There's the first cloak hit. I could train cloaks of my own. They would help me detect their cloaks. And I could also just hit their cities. I haven't really thought about that. Can we just walk into their capital? I think we can, right? There's nothing stopping us. All right, cool. So we got a couple of dagger boys. Forgot to chop this forest here, so this little bugger has a defense bonus. This catapult should make short work of him, though. Veteran swordsman, come on in. We'll have him uh, take out this guy. And I guess this knight can just kill this one. We'll move this giant forward. We're going to hit their giant here. I'll train another catapult. Let's see what's going on in this city. Aha, a mindbender. Be gone. Okay. Let's go ahead and level up this city, grab an explorer. Should go where we need it to. Oh, wow. That's quite a few mindbenders. We can get most of them. This knight can go ahead and take care of all these little buggers. There we go. 
will walk into that city. And then this guy can hit these two and the giant, sure. Now we'll just train more. Go ahead and capture these two villages up here. Again, I'm going to level up this city and just kind of hope the explorer goes south-ish. It might go north. I can't really blame it. Yeah, that's fine. You win some, you lose some. I guess we'll hit this giant and just train more knights. Get more riders down here to go for these villages. We'll end our turn. Oh, wow. Okay. They have quite a few down here. Ooh, there's a cloak. That city has two mountains, too. That's a little problematic. So two of them has defense bonuses. We can take care of them. It's just going to keep our knights from really moving forward as much as I want them to this turn. Let's capture this city. Very cool. And tell you what, I'll probably end up using one of our monuments here. We'll chop all the forests, just so that's not a problem, and then put a park of fortune down. Grab a giant. Nice. Now, we need to do something about the daggers, because they are being very mean. Okay, that one's dead, and then we can go ahead and kill that one, hit that one, and kill the other one. Daggers are taken care of. I'm going to leave the rider on the mountain, so if they hit that city again, a dagger can't spawn there. Now let's take their capital, which is very pog. Get to watch all of the road connections get shredded. Cool, city's making zero stars per turn. We'll take that city as well. And I guess this knight can, uh, you know, do knight things. Now we aren't able to move onto this tile. That means there's a unit here? I bet it's a mindbender. Maybe there's a wicked chain back here. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, by God, that one mind bender is gone. Now, as for the giants, we're going to go ahead and hit them with our catapults. And then, uh, ah, I have an idea. We can just have our giant hit, chain with the knight. We'll also kill the mind bender and then hit the giant. And then promote. Looky there. Now, that giant still probably kills. Oh, it lives by one HP. Okay, we might get that siege off then. That'd be neat. Warrior, go here. Swordsman, come on down. And I'm going to road this catapult over here to help deal with that giant, maybe. These forests got to go. Get this rider moving forward, move the warrior down, and keep spamming knights. The AI is really adamant about spamming mindbenders and cloaks. It doesn't seem to be changing its strategy at all. This might actually be the one, boys. But, I mean, crazy comebacks have happened before. We'll see if the AI can pull it off. We are in first now. It's 22 to 19 cities. We've hit a tipping point. Can we keep that momentum? I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. All right. I mean, I guess we'll end our turn. There's probably a few more things we can do with eight stars, but I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. AI has a lot of units down here. I figured they would have been more, you know, surrounded around their capital. They hit their city with a cloak. Well, our city. It was their city. Another cloak coming in. But you see, they don't have any defense bonuses because we chopped all the forest down. Our knight lives with one HP. Bada bing, bada boom. City's ours. Okay, this giant is actually sort of making a break for it. Let's just train a catapult and train another catapult. And he should be taken care of next turn. What's this rune give us? Resources? Neat. Okay, there is a thick night chain waiting to happen here. I'm just not sure of the best way to go about it. I think I see a path. We start at the top, and then we just kind of like, you know, go on through here, come down here. There we go, go into this city, come on down, and then we're going to hit the dagger with the defense bonus, and then we can continue the chain down through here, and then we'll just kind of like spiral into the center. We're going to have to use some of our other knights here. Go ahead and hit that one, you can kill, and then the giant can just take care of that one. Okay, that was pretty neat. We can siege this city now. Let's move on to this mountain, just see what kind of vision we get. Ah, okay. I guess we can try and siege the city. Probably won't happen. There is a cloak here. We definitely want to take that guy out. For sure. Mindbender, and we're done. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, Mindbender. Well, let's take it out. Neat. Now this giant is a little bit of a problem, unfortunately. We only have one monument. Mm. I mean, we can spam knights and maybe take it out. Let's get a couple into position here. And I'm going to chop all of the forest here. Just so, you know, no daggers show up and ruin our day there. Let's go ahead and kill that giant and hit this one. And I guess this rider can smack the mindbender. Sure. We're just going to train more knights. We still have all these in reserve back here. Let's go ahead and just delay them from that village for a turn. Then this knight can come over here. This one can go here, I guess. Let's capture this village and end our turn there. AI actually has quite a few giants. All right. Now, this guy's got to go. He's become a bit of a problem. 
we can lose this catapult. I think after that, you know, it's done its purpose. Let's uh, just road these forward, help deal with this giant up here. Now there is, of course, this giant. Do three knights and a warrior kill it? I don't know. The answer is yes. There you go. All right, we did capture this city. Ooh, if we capture it, the AI is going to yoink our knight. I actually don't want them having a knight because we're also training, you know, knights, which are pretty squishy units. Let's first take this knight and kill this mind vendor. Maybe this chain continues up here and we won't have to worry about it. No, okay. We're gonna kill the mind vendor then. And that one. AI is now training archers, it seems. Good for it, I guess. Those do actually counter catapults quite well, but uh, I don't think we have enough catapults for that to really matter, though. We can siege this city. I guess we'll hit this archer, and I guess the rider can still siege this city. Yeah, he's a trooper. All right, let's capture this one, and we'll just keep chaining, I guess. Mm, let's risk it. We'll swoop north and hope that there's more units to the south. Oh, there are more units. Okay. Mindbender. Warrior. Very yummy. Another warrior. Aw, oh, that guy's on a mountain. Too bad. Still a nice chain, though. Now, this giant's a little bit of a problem. Has a defense bonus, too. Let's instead just worry about this guy. Just, you know, throw units at it. Problem will fix itself. And we just kind of need to train more knights. Actually, let's grab a warrior here. Just because there's a couple of units over there that we can't really deal with at the moment. I'm going to chop all these forests so no cloaks do their funny cloak thing and let's just move this giant here so we can take this city next turn that looks like a turn to me hmm so the archers are a little annoying but we should just you know one shot them either way really not a big deal i guess there's a cloak good thing we chopped those fours huh now the giants are kind of becoming a bit of a problem they're threatening a lot of our cities we'll go ahead and capture this city hmm all the knights here are at low hp it's probably fine you know we can just hit that guy you can kill the mind bender we're all good and we can take out this archer yes just took a little extra manpower and i guess you can kill the archer uh it's kind of risky yeah let's actually just bring the knight north just so they can't mind bend it i don't want the ai getting their hands on a knight that could be kind of bad okay we need to get these knights forward to deal with giants just have our catapults keep scooching in closer this 37 HP guy is a little bit of a problem, so we'll give him the old knight treatment. There we go, he's taken care of. We'll go ahead and siege this city. Now, because our giant's here, it can't really defend against this guy, so not too sure what we're going to do about that. I mean, I guess I could slap a defender there. Giant does 9 damage. Um, oh, we cannot afford strategy. Okay, that's fine. We can just try to catapult there, and then a knight here. Capture the city. Get a knight here. And just move everything forward. Capture the city, chop all the force, and then we'll end our turn. There's a cloak. We don't really have a lot of knights around that city, huh? There's another cloak, okay. Righto. Well, we did get this city, and we can kill the Mindbender, so no problems there. We'll just do a little chopping, and I could get another giant here. I'm not sure which direction it's going to push our giant. It might push him straight into this Mindbender. We wouldn't want that happening. Let's just take out these daggers right here. Go ahead and hit that giant with our catapult. And we can kill this one with the rider. There we go. And now I'm just going to throw units at this giant. Not very efficiently, but that's what's happening. Okay, can this knight kill? Yes. So we can kill that and then hit the dagger, kill it, and then hit this warrior, kill it, and then chain towards the veteran swordsman. Warrior here, promote him. Man, these fours here are kind of annoying. It means our knights can't really, you know, do knight things very well. We're going to drop a bunch of rocks on this giant here. There we go. He's taken care of. Now, what about this guy? I mean, we'll give him the old knight special, as they call it. Yeah, that's probably fine. And then let's just chain. See what we got. Okay, archer. Not worth it. Mm, how much damage will this knight do? Five. It's probably not enough to kill, huh? No. I mean, will this guy do the trick? No. Well, that's very unfortunate. So I guess the AI is actually going to get this city from me. Not great, but I mean, it's just a little poopy city. What do we care? How's the city ratio looking? 30 to 14. Okay. We're holding the momentum. We just got to continue holding it. I need a drink of my V8. My brain is not working great anymore. <laughs> I've been recording for an hour and 11 minutes 
and I can sure feel it. You know, after a while, your vocal cords just start hurting, and it's just like, you should probably stop and take a break, but you can't stop for the polytopia. You know what I mean? Oh, you're training defenders now? Wasting my time. Whatever. It's fine. We got a gnarly night chain right here. Absolutely gnarly. <laughs> I don't think I've ever unironically used the word gnarly in my entire life. I guess there's a first for everything. Veteran Swordsman, I don't like you and I hope you die. Thank you. I guess we need to start training catapults in order to deal with the defenders. I guess that's what's happening. Not only are they defenders, but they're defenders with mind benders behind them. So, I mean, we can damage them a little bit, but they're just going to get healed. Okay, we got a little chain right here. Can we siege this city back? Probably. I don't feel like doing the math. Yes. And, hmm, should I kill the dagger? Yeah, sure, might as well. I think if we stay on that city, they just, you know, kill the knight anyway. Can we siege this city? I think we might be able to. There we go. Is there even a point in moving this stuff forward? I could probably put down roads. That that would probably help, yeah. Train more knights. This guy still has movements. Put him on the forest. Okay. And I'll just smack this giant. Train a warrior. Get a knight. And then no turn. There's a cloak. Okay. AI is training warriors. Maybe they're running out of stars or something? I don't know. Either way, I'm fine with it. We'll siege this city with the veteran knight. Catapult can go here. Ah, oh, I forgot to chop the forest in this city. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Really bad spot, too. Okay, well, I mean, we did rode our catapults forward, so may as well use them. Judd can kill that guy, and we'll take out that dagger with the knight and a roaded warrior. So, really not that big of an issue. We took care of that, all right. Now, let's chop these forests. We should have a pretty good knight chain here, actually. We'll just hit these units here, and then just kind of go down the line. There we go. Mm, can we siege this city? Probably not. Well, this knight's right here, so we probably can. Ooh, let's check out what's going on back here. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was kind of cool, I guess. Hit the warrior and promote, sure. Giant can pressure that city. This warrior can go over here. I'll siege that city, and we can take out this giant and the warrior and block off their warrior. Very cool. I can feel my brain melting through my ears, but we are getting there. Oh boy. We sort of have them delegated to this corner now. Okay, I think this is going to be a pretty important turn. We'll capture the city. I'm going to chop all the fours. We should be able to get some good night action. And that'll probably be their last big wave of units, if I am if I had to guess. That will just kind of eviscerate. But we got to do it right. It's not as good of a night chain as I thought it was. We'll go through with it anyway. We'll just hit that warrior and then just go up this direction. And we need a little bit of support over here. And we can siege. Road this giant forward. Drain a knight. Siege this city. Uh, any way we can siege this one? Probably, yes. I did not mean to put a sawmill there. Gosh dang it. Okay. Get you down to eight. I guess we can bring the knight in. We need to capture the city first. Put a road here. And then do a little funny knight stuff. There we go. Archer, you gotta go. Hi, veteran swordsman. Hope you're having a lovely day. I won't bother you. We're gonna start doing some big numbers to these cities up here. Slowly whittling down their overall unit count. Oh, they're training swordsmen now? Mmm. Maybe that's why they only trained warriors for a turn. They were saving up for smithery. That's not great, especially if they have a bunch of walled cities. But again, catapults will probably do all right against them. Okay, veteran swordsman's gonna siege. That's okay. They broke that siege. They're probably gonna break most of them. There's a cloak. Oh, they giant push there. Okay. Well, we did get this city up here. As long as I can just keep sieging their cities every turn, we're gonna be fine, I think. Got a nice night chain going here. A juicy four units. We'll just scoot into that city. Rode the giant forward. Rode the catapult forward. Oh, I kind of forgot about these daggers. Uh, they're not an issue though, thankfully, because we have the catapults on our side. And this lovely knight, ready to clean up. Now, veteran swordsman, I told you I wasn't going to bother you. Now I got to bother you, because you messed up. Okay, we have a giant. That's neat. I guess that sawmill was a good call after all. In fact, just slap one here. I don't care. Another giant, sure. I'm going to road this knight up this direction. Get a little bit of vision, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> Brain's fried. I'm just kind of moving units at this point, hoping it works. And so far, it 
Looks like it is. Take out this warrior, sure. Mr. Giant here is kind of an issue. In fact, there's a couple giants. So maybe train a couple catapults. And let's start giving this guy the night treatment. So that giant's no longer really a problem. We'll road ours forward right here. And I guess we're done for the turn. Pretty calm turn. I mean, of course, we can spam knights. Chop that forest. Actually, lumber hut sawmill. Sure. Man, that would have been a great windmill spot. Imagine going construction. Honestly, I might go construction. <laughs> oh, never mind. Tech is very expensive. Right. Forgot about that. We'll just put a gate of power here. Get another giant. Sure. May as well. Move the warriors forward. God bless them. They're doing their best. End our turn. Okay. They broke the siege up here. But other than that, they didn't really do a whole lot that turn, which is a good thing. Hmm. Surely we can get a little night chain here. Yeah, let's do this. We can probably siege with our 9 HP. Never mind. Well, this knight will do the trick. And we have a couple of very scrumptious night chains here. Actually, not really. Well, no, we can make this work. We just kind of go across the mountain. Now, which direction do we want to go here? Mm, let's just kill the archer. Yeah, we'll go this way. Why is there a warrior down here? I hit him, I guess. I don't think we can siege this city, can we? No. No, we cannot. Should have known. Okay, let's use the catapults we trained. There we go. We'll walk into this city, get some damage on this giant. In fact, we'll probably just kill it. There we go. He's no longer a problem. Siege this city and train more knights. I mean, heck, you can't go wrong with them. Even after they got nerfed, I still feel like they're pretty viable units, especially in situations like these where your opponent is, you know, being a little silly. <laughs> Makes things a bit easier. Yeah, let's end our turn there. You know, I'll give it to them. They are definitely putting up a fight. That was a really good turn for us. All three of these sieges held. You know, they're starting to run out of units. They're starting to crumble a little bit. Haven't seen any more swordsmen coming out of them. That means their economy is hurting for sure. We'll just keep our sieges going. They shouldn't be able to break this one, I don't think. Let's road our giants forward. These knights in their back lines are doing pretty good stuff. Take out that warrior. Um, can we siege this city back here? We should be able to, yeah. With a veteran, nonetheless. Very good. Yeah, actually, I'm looking at this now. They are not doing so hot at all. We'll siege that city. Promote. Get some kills on these warriors over here. Oh, yeah. Nice chain right there. Siege this city. Promote. Take out these warriors. Siege this city as well. Promote. Another stellar turn for us. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot longer here. Go ahead and end our turn there. A couple more warriors sprinkling out. Five sieges that turn. Lovely stuff. Looks like they have about two cities left. Let's make this quick. We're just going to have to spend this turn moving all of our units forward. In fact, we can probably just train a couple of knights and call it good. A few warriors here. Nothing we can't handle. Take them out. Yeah, there we go. We can siege this city. End our turn. Probably fine. Capture. <laughs> our capital is going to level up one more time. And we'll capture the city. You've destroyed Zabasi. Wow. We'll get this village too, I guess. There's the map. Finish game. Man, we didn't do too good on our speed skills, guys. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Wow, that was pretty difficult. I mean, we failed the first two times. So we had to try three different strategies. The first one, full-on economy, didn't work. Second one, full-on military, didn't work. Third one, balanced the two. And we did a little better. And I also think we got luckier with the AI. I don't know why, but Zabasi just didn't seem to expand as quickly. I think they had, what, seven cities by the end of turn 20? Either way, we clutched it off. This was a very difficult challenge. I'd recommend trying it yourself if you get bored. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up because I've been recording for an hour and 33 minutes. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more Epic Polytopia gameplay. And if you want to directly support me and the channel, you can become a channel member by hitting the join button down below. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a spectacular day.